Amber is closer to an Australian prison than we all think, as all hands are on deck to extradite her. A case of dog importation has been previously tied to her feet, and now perjury might throw her out of her home to the Australian prison. How hard is the Australian government working to see the arrest of Amber, or will she escape this predicament? Well, let's dive right into the video to find out. The Australian authorities are investigating a possible perjury offense committed by Amber Heard during a court case in 2016. The investigation came about after Heard lost a high-profile defamation trial against Johnny Depp, and as much as this may be bad timing for Amber, the Australian government doesn't seem to care. Moreover, it's no doubt that the Australian government has a rethink, because certain information was disclosed during that trial that raised questions about Amber's truthfulness. The Amber Heard perjury investigation is based on her trip to Australia with Depp in 2015, when she broke strict quarantine and biosecurity laws by failing to declare the couple's Yorkshire Terriers, Pistol and Boo, upon her arrival in the country. Whereas the dogs should have been declared to customs and placed in a 10-day quarantine. However, their arrival in Australia was only detected after photos of the dogs were posted on Facebook. Authorities gave the pair 72 hours to send the dogs home or they would be seized and euthanized. Afterward, Amber was charged with illegally importing animals. She ultimately pleaded guilty to falsifying travel documents in April 2016. Her defense lawyer claimed that the paperwork for the dogs had slipped through the cracks and that there was no attempt to deceive. It was suggested that Amber thought Depp's staff had completed the paperwork. Lawyers claimed that she ticked the wrong box on her arrival card due to exhaustion and sleep deprivation. However, in October 2021, Australian police became aware of allegations that she lied under oath about how the dogs were brought into the country. Additionally, during Johnny Depp's UK libel case against The Sun newspaper in 2020, his former estate manager Kevin Murphy gave evidence that Heard ordered him to lie under oath. Murphy's written statement set out that he had repeatedly warned the actress about Australia's strict animal entry rules. I also explained to Miss Heard several times the fact that trying to take the dogs into Australia without completing the mandatory process was illegal and could result in very harsh penalties, including euthanizing the dogs, he said. He alleged that when it was revealed publicly that the dogs were in Australia, Heard demanded he provide a false statement, saying she didn't know anything about the requirements. When I expressed that I was extremely uncomfortable with this, Miss Heard said to me, well, I want your help on this. I wouldn't want you to have a problem with your job. Murphy confirmed that he has been contacted by the FBI and had to agree to provide Australian authorities with a witness statement, but he declined to comment further. In case you're wondering what lies in Amber's future, well, she could be extradited to Australia to face potential perjury charges. Even if she's not extradited, she could be arrested if she tried to re-enter the country. Well, 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 the Australian Department of Agriculture, Water and the Environment last week confirmed the case was ongoing. They also confirmed it was still investigating allegations of perjury by Ms. Heard during court proceedings for the 2015 illegal importation of her two dogs into Australia. But it doesn't end there, as the Australian authorities could seek assistance from the FBI. As they investigate claims, Amber Heard allegedly perjured herself in a Queensland court six years ago. A former special agent for the Bureau told Law & Crime, it's common for Australian investigators to liaise with their American counterparts. And such a collaboration would be likely in this case given the relevant witnesses all live overseas. Bobby Chacon, a retired FBI special agent and attorney, said on Monday, the FBI maintains an office in Canberra, and there are FBI agents permanently assigned to Australia on a rotating basis. Part of their mission is liaison and assistance. So if the Australians needed something from here in the US, they would certainly contact the FBI's Australia office, and the FBI would likely assist. You should also know that perjury carries a maximum jail term of 14 years, while the latter offense can result in seven years under the Queensland Penal Code. And yeah, it's unlikely the Australian government would try to have her extradited, but she could nonetheless face arrest if she tried to enter the country again. Well, that'll be all for now. Want to know more? Check out our other videos.